As property prices continue to rise, the dream of homeownership is held hostage, leaving young people facing an uphill battle. The traditional path to purchasing a home appears to be an insurmountable challenge. However, before exploring the innovative and imaginative solutions young people are devising, let's examine the current housing crisis. In 1970, the average house price was $23,000, and in 2020, the average house price was $392,000. Now, if we adjust for inflation, the average house price should be $153,000. So what is responsible for this gap between those prices? First, we have to look at how wages have changed over the last 50 years. Here we can look at the average wages in the U.S. from 1970 to 2020, and we can see a 800% wage growth. However, if we adjust the wages for inflation and compare the current wages to the average wage in 1970, we only see a 20% growth. That 20% growth does not make up for the $239,000 price difference we saw earlier. Remember this when we talk about mortgage payments later in the video. When wages are adjusted for inflation, it provides a more accurate picture of the purchasing power of those wages over time. If wages have not kept up with inflation, it means that even though people may be earning more, their ability to purchase goods and services may not have increased significantly. With only a 20% growth in real wages over a 50-year period, it suggests that the increase in wages has not kept pace with the rise in the cost of living. This can result in a relative decrease in people's ability to afford things compared to the past. In other words, although people may be earning more money, the cost of goods and services has also risen, and their purchasing power has not increased at the same rate. Although the impact of static wages is a factor, the gap in the housing price from 1970 to 2020 is also due to the astronomical rise in the cost of purchasing a home. Earlier, we spoke about wage growth compared to the increase in housing prices, and when we consider that a mortgage payment should not exceed 25% of a homeowner's monthly gross income, we can start to understand the affordability issue. The $239,000 gap in the housing price represents a 60% increase, while wages have only increased 20%. Since 1970, banks have tightened credit underwriting to reduce risk. They also double down on the 20% down payment rule for home buyers. But as prices rise, it is taking millennials longer to accumulate enough cash for a 20% deposit. While mortgage affordability programs may offer loans with less than 20% down payments, Lenders often charge higher interest rates on these loans to offset the greater default risk. Additionally, most of these mortgages will require that millennials take out private mortgage insurance, PMI, making monthly payments even higher. A second big change has been the change in lifestyle of young people since 1970. Young people today choose to get married later in life with the average age being 27, compared to the average of 23 in 1970. This means that along with affordability issues, people are also not in a rush to purchase their first home. More young people today are attending university, and this has increased the student debt. This debt has also become greater, as the costs of studying has dramatically increased since 1970. The final factor to consider is the change in urbanization. City populations have grown, and as a result, jobs have increased in the cities. This means that the demand for housing in cities has increased, thus increasing prices. However, in a challenging market, here are the solutions that creative people are coming up with. From tiny homes that maximize minimal space to repurposed shipping containers that create compact yet functional spaces, alternative housing options are a breath of fresh air in the realm of shelter. They promote eco-consciousness by utilizing recycled materials, incorporating renewable energy sources, and implementing efficient systems. Moreover, these unique dwellings foster a sense of community and encourage a simpler, more intentional lifestyle. With their versatility and adaptability, alternative housing opens doors to affordable, eco-friendly, and distinctive living experiences.